I'm gonna show you several ways to use a local user in Windows 11 Home Edition. So let's start right now. Let's start by installing Windows 11 Home Edition. I'm gonna speed up the installation process so you don't have to wait too much or fast forward the video. I'm gonna choose the home version here since there's no restriction of creating a local user when installing the Pro version. Please note that this computer is connected to the internet. So let's check out my options. So there's a Microsoft account, which is an online user. And under the sign in options, I have an option to sign in with a security key or another option in case I forgot my username. There's no option for a local user. So what I'm gonna do at this point is disconnect the internet and press the back arrow. And now, as you can see, the option to create a local user appears. So let's create a local user and proceed with the installation. Here you can see that I'm using a local user with uh, Windows 11 Home. Now let's say you were not able to configure a local user during the installation. Or maybe, I don't know, you already had it installed. So let me show you how you can configure a local user when Windows 11 Home is already installed. To demonstrate these methods, I am now logged in as an online user. Press Start and then press Settings. Now go to the Accounts option and click Family and Other Users. Now click the option to add someone else to this PC. Since we don't want to add an online user, let's click the option that says I don't have this person's sign-in information. Now let's choose to add a user without a Microsoft account. Enter a user, choose a password, add any additional required information and press next. As you can see, your local user has been created. This method uses the CMD to create a local user. I'm gonna show you two commands, one to create the user and another to add it to the local administrators group. So let's start by pressing the start button and running a CMD as an administrator. These are the commands you need to run. The first one is net user followed by the username followed by the password, followed by the forward slash add command. The second command is optional and should be used if you want to add this user to the local administrators group. The command is net local group, followed by the group name, administrators in our case, followed by the username, followed by forward slash add. You can see your new user by pressing the Start, Settings, choosing Accounts, and then pressing the Family and Other Users. And as you can see, your local user has been created. The last method I want to show you is a command which you can either run from the CMD or from the Run window. The command is Control User Passwords 2. So let's go ahead, run this command, and see what it can do. To add a user, press Add, and choose the option to sign in without a Microsoft account. Now, press the Local Account button, enter the required information, and press Next. Press Finish to complete the process, and press OK to close the user's window. You can also see the list of users if you open the settings, choose accounts, and then press the family and other users. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.